Well, how's it going, guys? Andrew Hill. Welcome to a surprise vlog. Um, I bring you quarantine day 27. Um, no. Uh, and all joking aside, guys, um, yeah, you know, we're all dealing with it ourselves. The quarantine, um, jokingly, but in all seriousness, it is something we need to take into matter. Uh, you know, a bunch of us aren't working. Um, schools are getting canceled, sports are canceled, movies are canceled, everything is kind of getting a little serious. And what this vlog is, if you clicked on it, is my production class I was taking this semester. Um, I have three videos for you guys that um, we filmed and there was gonna be a fourth one that the entire class was gonna do, but since now my classes are online, we gotta scrap that and we're just gonna have our final that we do on our own. Um, so I think just kind of like the getaway vlog, if you watch that one, I'm going to talk about each uh, video, watch it, that's about it. Um, so yeah guys, just sit back, relax, and um, we'll watch the first one. I just realized I should give you an introduction of what it is. It was kind of just like a testing out the camera. So what we had to do, the rules were every shot had to look like it was connected without editing it. So like shot one had to make sense with shot two. And after your first like shot, so you could take the first shot as many times as you want to get it down. But every shot after that had to be its first shot. So when you're watching this, our first shot, I think we did like three times, and then that third one is the one I liked, and then every shot after that was its first take. We could rehearse it as many times, but once I pressed that record button, that was it. Like, that was gonna be our shot no matter what. And I think it turned out really good, so it's really short. I'll see you guys in like 45 seconds. So yeah, I mean, that's it was the first one. It's nothing that special. I kind of wanted to do like a 19, 20, 30 slapstick comedy look um, with like whip pans and just over exaggerating like uh, humor. We didn't use sound. So that was that one. Uh, the second, so also, sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath, uh, allergy season just kicked in. So like, I'm just breathing, like my mouth is just clogged up ridiculous. But that's why it sounds like I'm short in breath because I can't breathe through my nose. <laughs> I'm very self-conscious now. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, our second one. It's supposed to be a mockumentary or a documentary. We went a mockumentary and in the style of like The Office or a show like that. And um, I joined a group where the one that, it, the project that won was the person is a struggling artist and he has a rat tail. And so the guy that created it, he made the script, um, it was really funny. It was a lot of fun to film. We filmed in like four hours, like three and a half, because we only have like that class period, which is about a four hour class period, to take the class. <gasps> I wish I could breathe out of my nose. Yeah guys, just watch it, enjoy it, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey guys, uh, sorry I'm late. Uh, I couldn't sleep last night, so I had a couple of four locos. But um, it's this way. I feel like I've always been treated differently. People always told me my paintings would never sell. You should get a real job. Your rat tail's ugly. But you know, I don't listen to those people. It's hard being me, you know? Society likes to keep people like me down, but uh, I don't let it get to me. I just let it inspire my work. Yeah. So why the rat tail? Well, I mean, it's a long story. Since I was a kid, you know, I had this uncle who, like, was growing one. 
and I, he was a really cool uncle. I thought it was, it was great, but you know what really made me want to grow it was when I saw Jordan Knights from New Kids on the Block with a rat tail on TV, and I was like, you know what? If you can make it on TV, you know, like anyone can make it with a rat tail, you know. Representation matters, and, you know. And then uh, episode one came out, and uh, Obi Wan was rocking that sweet, sweet rat tail. And like after I saw a guy with a lightsaber and a rat tail, then I knew like, you know, I can make all my dreams come true, you know. So yeah, I got this new cat, and uh, I named him Shiloh because his tail reminded me of a uh, Shiloh Buff's sweet, thick rat tail that he grew. I wish he still had it, man. He could have, you know, he was rocking it, you know. He was a brother, but. Yeah, me and me and Shia, the cat, not the person. We're like brothers now, so it's all good. Yeah. I needed a day like this, you know. Things they, they just haven't been good for me lately. Money's been real tight, and my girl just left me, you know, when I needed her most, which sucks. And she said it's the hair, but uh, I don't know. I think it's her parents. They've been acting weird. We're here at the High Art Center to meet the curator, Mr. Bucks, and it's pretty sweet because uh, someone's finally interested in my paintings. It's awesome. Trash. Whack. None of these are good, man. You don't think so? No, I've, I've seen better. I don't know, I think Josh Dorman is a name to be reckoned with. He's got nothing on Nelson Fraud. I'm supposed to meet him later today. Hey. Oh my gosh, the Nelson Fraud. Come on, my business corner. Let's talk. Let's do it. So, let me see him. Here it is. Yes, this is perfect. Do you think we can have this in by next week? Well, how much money are we talking? Yeah, um, uh, they didn't take him. He, he said he didn't like the paintings or something. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just, I just got to think about it. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I just, I try and I try, but, uh, I always seem to get the boot, man. They just don't get me, man. They'll, but they'll see. They'll see, man. They, Mar Mark's gonna be something. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take me. Hold on. Hello? What do you mean you sold it? Whoa, no, that's too far. Yeah, you bought me the Switch, but I bought you the cat. Hey, stop following me, man. No, leave Shia alone. Hey, I said stop following. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going over right now. I'm gonna get shy. You leave him alone. That's my cat. Our teacher really liked our, um, it's called Rat Tail, obviously, and she really liked it. She was, thought it was so funny, um, so that and it, like made us feel really good. There's only three of us working on it, so for it to turn out like that, I think it was really good. And sound was nice because the next project I'm going to talk about was Waldo. It was my idea, and um, oh man.
avez vu tu veux le livre? Peux-tu me prendre, Sarah? Um, quoi de soli? Quoi de neuf? Où est Waldo? Il est en dans la bibliothèque? A être fourrière, derrière, quelques manuels. Quoi de neuf? Tu oublies quelque chose? En train de quoi? Vous pouvez également entendre cela, non? Pliat. Les causes de triette sont vraiment quelques choses. Il est bien hein? que la coin derrière hein? toi, je le jure. Quelqu'un que je suis depuis que nous avons quitté la bibliothèque. Je ne sais pas quoi, mais c'est bizarre. Je peux le sentir. Mec, arrête d'être un bit. Si vous ne voulez pas à dire sur PowerPoint, vous ne devez pas venir. Je sais ce que je veux. Peu importe, je te verrai en classe demain. Alex! Our audio sounded like trash. It sounded like Kylo Ren, like when he has his mask on. It's all rah, rah, rah. That doesn't sound like anything like it, but it, we sounded awful. So halfway through the shoot, when we decided to look at some playback, hearing our voices, I was like, oh my gosh, like it's done. Like, you know, if you don't have audio, like nobody's gonna wanna watch your movie with if you use that audio. And so Lex, who was working the camera, he was like, dude, here we go. We're gonna make this a French noir horror-esque film. Um, I will rewrite the script in French and you and Julianne are going to speak French. And I'm like, hmm. So what you heard was us speaking French. It was awful. Uh, there really was no acting involved because I can't speak a lick of it. And it's just really challenging. So. It, for what it is, um, I love the shots where Waldo is, you know, in color and everything else is black and white. That's really cool. Uh, also, it was raining the day we were filming, so the scene where we're walking in the hallway, we planned to film that outside and we had to rewrite it in a different area, so that's why it jumps from the library to just a random hallway. But, you know, only like me really notices that and it's annoying. Um, but yeah, the class overall was just a lot of fun, guys. Like, I really enjoyed it, and it sucks that, you know, we can't keep going to school because, um, you know, the coronavirus and everything, but it's not going to stop me to make my um, final project. Obviously, I have to make it uh, on my own, and it's going to be, like, on the production level of Getaway. So look out for that. You know, we're going to be using our own gear. I get to use my own crew. Um, 
Caleb um, is starring in it. We have a new friend, you've seen him on the channel, Akshay. He's gonna be starring in it as well. <sighs> I think we're gonna start filming soon. Um, like knock on some wood because with all this happening, there's one scene uh, it takes place at a bar, that's all I'm saying. And I really don't want to rewrite it. I really want to have it at a bar. I think it'd look really cool. But if things get closed down, we might have to postpone it. But this short, you guys probably won't see it till summertime, like June-ish. Um, it's not due until the end of April, but even after that, I'll probably still want to edit it a little bit. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope this video was just a little fun. Got you distracted watching some of my crappy school films uh just seeing what i've been doing this semester i wish i could have had one more for you but here are the three and until next time guys i'll see you later peace